23 minutes before eight, and we have some uh, breaking news. We welcome Sly of the Underworld into the studio. Sly, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. It's uh, in one way sad news, and that is that um, suspected child killer Derek Ernest Percy died at uh, St Vincent Hospital about 2 a.m. this morning. Um, he, of course, was charged and uh, went to trial on the murder of a 12-year-old of Ontui who was abducted from a beach in 1969. He was found not guilty on the grounds of insanity and has become Australia's longest serving um, inmate. Um, he was suspected of a number of other crimes, including that of the abduction and obvious murder of Linda Stuller, um, a little seven-year-old girl who was on the St Kilda beach in uh, 1968. Percy has been long been a suspect in up to nine abductions and murders. When interviewed by police over the years, he's most usually said, um, I could have, I don't know, I was in the area at the time. Um, there's been an inquest into Linda Stillwell's death. He refused to give evidence with, on his legal grounds on the potentially self-incriminating and um, consequently this went to the appeals court where he was forced to, which meant that there was effectively a deathbed um, inquest hearing on Saturday, July 20, which ironically is the exact anniversary of the, uh, his abduction of Yvonne Tui. But for the first time, he didn't say, I can't remember, I was in the area. Rather, he said, I was not involved, I didn't do it. He was asked that uh, questions along that way probably three or four times. Each time he came back with the same answer. A unique shift in his view. Um, previously, he'd said, yes, I was definitely... Um, in the area because I was going to the White Ensign Club in town from service, which took me past it, but he changed his mind. The police have been um, chipping away at this case for many years, and in the last few weeks I know that they've been at his bed every day, whereupon he would chat on many matters, but not the murders. Then, one must say, he, he was saying, I don't remember. Um, but in that last hearing he said, I didn't do it. OK, so he died at 2 o'clock uh, this morning. So many questions uh, are, are With the bedside inquest, which we actually discussed last uh, Wednesday, the possibility for it, who was present? Present w uh, was um, the police, the coroner, Ian West, who's covering it, and lawyers for Percy. I believe that there were an agreed set of questions that could be asked him because he was so ill, and he was given a certificate if you got, of lack of indemnity so that whatever he said couldn't be used against him in the future. A tragedy, of course, that he was unwilling or unable for the family to say exactly what happened for that terrible word, closure. Um, it's been an ex exhausting investigation over the years. It's amazing to read Percy's file and see how many different psychiatrists and experts interviewed him and said, you know what, this man has no discernible psychiatric illness, but for goodness sake, don't let him out, he'll do it again. The, the, which makes me think, he was acquitted um, on the grounds of insanity, um, which presumably is a good thing, because had he been convicted, he would have gone back into the community by now, would he not? Oh, without doubt, I think he was 21 at the time of the offence. Um, if he had got 20 years, which would have been a monster, he would have got out at 41. He's done, what is it, 44 years. Um, and so he, he would have been back out. in the community 24 years ago, roughly. And undeniably would have done it again because police found, I'm sorry, prison officials found a number of diaries in his um, cell a few years after. He and was, one in storage. Well, hmm. the, the one uh, when he was in, in his cell was just a blueprint on what he intended to do, including abducting two girls and feeding them alcohol. The Wanda Beach girls um, who were murdered were found to have had alcohol in their system, and Percy, Percy's grandparents lived around the corner from the station where those girls hopped on the train. Um, he went past Simon Brooks' house. The coroner there has said he, he's convinced that Percy did it, and Ian West here has already made an interim report that put Percy <coughs> at or around the beach at, uh, uh, at St Kilda when Linda Store was taken. For the greater part of 50 years, he has said, I can't remember whether I did it or not, then that Last Saturday, uh, in the shadows of death, up he pops and says, I didn't do it, I, I clear denial. Um, do the police, do you have any doubts that he was responsible for the disappearance of Linda Stilwell? I believe the overwhelming evidence is that he killed Linda Stilwell. I believe there's overwhelming evidence he killed Simon Brook. I'm certainly not that convinced in the Beaumonts, just because of his age. 
um, and I believe, and he remains a person of interest in at least three other cases. It's uh, interesting that when his diary was found, he said, oh, this was cathartic. When asked about the um, m- murder of, of, of Von Tui, he said, um, I just don't think about it. Uh, I just push it at the back of my mind. And when confronted by a psychiatrist who tried to get under um, that shield, he said, do you, you do understand murdering children is bad, don't you? And he said, yes. And they said, why? He said, because there'd be nobody left. Where does he get buried? Good question. I don't know. I feel for his uh, family. Um, his visits virtually stopped. Um, uh, his parents used to come and see him. His father's died. His mother's still alive. And they used to come down every two years to see him. There was a retired social worker who would see him, who's long gone. So for years, he didn't get any visitors. And for the, the poor mother, the mother found a diary when he was quite young, which showed he was a very, very twisted unit. And she went to a doctor and asked for help, and the doctor said he'll grow out of it. No, he didn't. Not then. Well, he has now grown out of it. Can I ask you this question? And uh, you, you, you are the better judge of whether names get used in this particular context or not, and maybe it's better that they don't. Uh, in your belief, is there a person currently in jail who will be out within a few years who is along the same roads as Derek Ernest Percy, every bit as bad? Yeah, in a totally different way. There's a person there that people are just going to say is going to re-offend, and that's the problem with certain finite sentences. There are a series of people who you look at and go, only infirmity will stop them. This is a man who had his sentence reduced by the Court of Appeal and who will probably be back on the street within, what, a handful of years, three or four? Well, this is a a fellow in the country and the police have sought him out uh, to me and uh, we can say exactly who he is. His name's Paul Miller. And he's, um, he's a disaster waiting to happen. And all that will happen with him in the next few years is he'll get bigger and stronger. Um, and you could, if you could you put money on it, that within weeks of his release, he will reoffend. I mean, there have been some people that the police have virtually picked up outside, in those days, Pentridge, um, in Melrose Patterson, for one. And they kept him under surveillance from the moment he left, knowing he would reoffend. And again, the only thing that stopped him was cancer. Talking man.